Hello, good morning everyone. So today we are going to talk about TOEFL. TOEFL, so what is actually TOEFL? TOEFL is test of English as a language proficiency or um, TOEF, test of English as a foreign language. So when you're talking about TOEFL, mainly there are two kinds of TOEFL. There are two types of TOEFL. TOEFL, uh, which is ITP and also TOEFL IBD. So what is the difference in ITP? Well, it is basically as a tool for university and college to track language change or language levels. So basically, if it is for ITP, it is only administered in the university level. And if it can be accepted, it can only be accepted in the local region, the local area. Uh, in the local conference, for example, in the country of Indonesia only, with a note that it is supposed to be ad administered by um, acknowledged institution or university, for example, like big university who has been given the acknowledgements by the official TOEFL to help this kind of test. So, yeah. And we also have IBT, Internet Based TOEFL. So it is being administered through internet. So what is it different? If it is in TOEFL IBT, there will be four skills that will be tasked, which is, for example, reading, writing, listening, and speaking. Meanwhile, if it is for TOEFL ITP, it's going to be only reading, listening, structure, and written expression. The other name of TOEFL ITP will be paper-based TOEFL. So, yeah. And also, if it is in TOEFL ITP or paper-based TOEFL, the listening extract are shorter. Reading can be shorter as long as those, and not as long as those in IBT. And the level of test also available in the IBT, there is no different of level. If it is in ITP or paper test TOEFL, there will be like um, intermediate to advanced level and then high beginner to intermediate. And then the minimum score, uh, if it is in IBT, there is no minimum. If it is in ITP, it's a level one, like uh, 3010, and in level two, 200. And when it is taking the test, um, it, for IBT, it can be done in the ETS approved centers or right now there is also IBT home edition. It means you can take it from home. And if it is from ITP, you have to take individual, you take it in the individual university or colleges or language centers. And for the marking, it tests at the home office and um, if it is IBT, uh, ITP at the center where the test is taken, results are usually available quicker than IBT score. And the validity for each, there will be two years. It's valid for two years. After that, um, you have to renew your TOEFL score again. And time allowed, three hours for totals for IBT and if it is for ITP for level one it is two hours for level two it is one hour ten minutes so which exam that you will be think is the best for you will be depend on your necessity if you need to take the ITP it means the institution that you would like to go to only require you to take ITP. Usually it is in local coverage, only in one country of Indonesia, for example. But if you want to go to other country, usually you have to take TOEFL, IBT TOEFL. That will be the difference. Um, if it is in the university, usually IBT will cost you around 500,000 rupiah. And if it is for IBT, it will cost you around 3 million rupiah. That will be the difference. And um, this is like, for example, if you would like to take IBT, internet-based TOEFL. See, there's also IBT Home Edition. IBT Home Edition means you don't have to go to the um, university 
or maybe language center who have already had this cooperation with ETS, you can just take it from your home online. Yeah, but the, there are several requirements that you have to fulfill in order for you to be able to take the test of IBT home edition online from your home. So for example, you have to register your name first after you create the account and you have to been given the um, username and also the password. When you get when you get inside, then you will be able to, you know, to take to take some of the uh, tasks that you want to take. And um, in future, for example, here we can, um, for example, register find test center. You can try to find, for example, if you want to take TOEFL IBT, uh, which is see TOEFL IBT, and then if it is um, there are two kind of TOEFL IBT, you want to go to the language center. Um, in some university out there, or you want to take it from your home. If it is during this pandemic era, so I suggest you to take the home edition versions. If you to want to take, uh, but if it is somehow it's not problem for you to go to the language center, yeah, then you can take the TOEFL IBT at the test center. What is the difference? Let's see, for example, if we touch TOEFL IBT at the test center, and then, Yes, for example, uh, try to see it from your location. Use my current locations. From here, it will going to show you uh, which one is the nearest. Which one is the nearest? Oh, let's let's just type for example. Um, Jambi is there? Any see? There is no. The closest one, I think, should be in Riau. See, Riau. Riau is the closest one from here. Jambi, I don't think it is available in Jambi. See, oh, let's see. Is there any? Okay, what about if from, from October to November? Will there be any? October to November. Mm, nope, there is no. Because I don't think if there's any test center uh, in Jambi, the closest one will be in Rio or in Jakarta. For example, so let's say the closest one in Rio. For example, you don't want to take too far to Jakarta, then you can just take it from Rio. See, uh, here, as you can see, uh, these are the dates that are available that you can take, that you can choose to take IBT TOEFL. Um, the green one, the green one is the available date, right? The available seats, see? Seats available. And then if it is uh, on gray, gray color like this, it means no seats available. So only in 24, 30, and then, you know, uh, this green color are available. So you can take one of that, one of that um, date. For example, when we're checking number four, uh, 24, 24 of October, and then we're going to show you, oh, if it is in the 24 October, it is gonna be in the Rio University. Limited seats, so this is going to be the place, which is in, you P to be Unri, Laboratory in Bahasa Unri, Campus Bina Widya Panam Pakan Baru. So even they were going to show you, for example, the exact date and also the exact time, show test time and register. And this is going to be like the course, 250, $205. $205 in USD, okay? US dollar. It's going to be 2 million. 8,000 something. But if it is with also the cost of travel that you have to go to from Jambi to Rio, then it will be around, yeah, more than 3 million because you have to 
stay overnight also there, the accommodation, the transportation, and also all of the um, food that you need when you are staying there, that will be more than 3 million, I think. So, and also you're going to be very, very tired because you have to endure the travel from Jambi to Rio. And then after you get there, you directly take the test, especially if, for example, the test is, let's see, the time. See, if we see the time of the test, it's going to be 8, 8 a.m., which is very, very uh, early in the morning, for example, so you are going uh, on the 23rd, 23rd of October, so you have to go like on the morning, in the morning, so that you are going to arrive in Rio in the night, so that you can have time to take a rest uh, for night. And then after that, in the morning, you will feel fresh and then you can join the test at 8 a.m. But if you go from Jambi at in the night, then you're going to arrive in Rio in the morning. And in the morning, you have already been very, very tired. And then you go directly to take the test. That will be maximal, maximal the result. That if you go um, to TOEFL test center. But what about if you are not uh, take the test from TOEFL test center? You can also take it, for example, by uh, taking a home edition. Now, if you take home edition, this one, take a home edition, and then very, uh, for example, uh, this is going to be the email that is required. And then uh, if you click continue from October to November, then we're going to show you available date. So the available date, uh, remember late fee. What is the meaning of late fee? It means um, it almost reached the, you know, the, the, the registration date has already been late. So there will be additional amount of fee that you have to pay. Uh, see this one. And then the green one are the seats that are available so you can choose whatever you want here so it's gonna be seven is that yeah seven seven um a.m yeah, seven a.m in the morning <laughs> uh, that's gonna be very early um you can actually change the time if you think, oh, uh, still also, by the way, still $205, which is 2,800,000 rupiah. If you would like, for example, change the zone time, you can change it from here, just the time zone. Um, but then um, I believe that it is like um, the only times that it's available, like right there. Okay. Um, for example, you say, oh, I want to check in 23rd, 23rd of October, right? And then um, you're going to choose, you can choose AM or PM, okay? You can choose AM or PM. And here, the whole day, so you do, you're going to have more options. Let's see, for example, um, there is no available seats. What about the 23? Okay. Okay. So until 23 of October, uh, 30 of October, there is no available seat. But the way it is in the 1st of November, and there will be some available seats. So these are the times that you can select. So for example, oh, I want, it will be very maximum for me if I take the test online on 12.30 a.m., for example. So you will have time to get up, wake up, have a breakfast, um, doing some exercise, uh, prepare your materials probably, um, get ready, uh, study, for example, and then at 12.30, you want to take the test, it's going to be up to you. For example, so let's give it a try. 12.30, that's going to be your test, and then you have to just have to register, and then we when you... Uh, have already finished to register the task and then the things that you have to do is just to pay the fee of the task itself. Um, see, these are the things that you have to prepare during the online test, for example, the ID requirements. By the way, when it is about the ID, um, 
it is better for you to uh, prepare, for example, a passport. If you have passport, it's going to be better if you show the passport. Um, also, test centers call recipient who is going to re re uh, re accept the, the test score, background question, and review your order and make your payment and then the accommodation. Um, yeah, you just click I acknowledge and then next. And then after that, see, you have to review, uh, you have to fill in all of the identity information, identification information. And if it is for um, identity information, then you have to fill in based on the location of your country. For example, when you are from Indonesia, that will be that. If you don't have any passport, it's okay just to put on your national ID. But if you have passport, it will be better. You can also put the number of your passport there. Um, for example, let's in. So in Indonesia, there. See, there is the number of my passport and there is the number of my national ID card. And then drive license, I don't have other ID I don't have. And you just click next. After that, you're going to have, um, you know, see, this is the information, my personal information related to my test. And then after that, you just click next again. You see the background information. For example, uh, in what country you hope to study for S2 or S3, for example. Oh, for example, I want to study in either one of these country, for example, to attend graduate or postgraduate program, for example. And then these are the things that you have to fill in. Um, which of these includes your age, for example? Which one is your age? You just choose from here. And then what is your current level of study? Um, so since I'm graduate or postgraduate students, I choose that one. If we, it's going to be you, it's going to be probably undergraduate student, undergraduate program. What is your desired field of study? English education and training, obviously. Um, and then indicate your intended that date of enrollment, September, December 2021. How much time you have spent studying English, maybe 10 years or more, if it is my case, if it is in your case, probably different. And then how much time you have attend school in which content classes were taught in English, this one. So yeah, um, and then if you click next, and then it will directly to free score recipients who can to receive your score. For example, it's a certain university or a certain company. If there is no, then just um, don't have to uh, fill it in. So these are the things uh, that you have to uh, fill in. And then just keep it and then just click next. And then after that, we're going to show you your shopping cart in which there you go um testing program uh, which is TOEFL test repetition TOEFL IBT right TOEFL IBT and home edition it is on November the 1st 2021 12 30 a.m and then the fee that you have to pay which is 205 which is 2 million uh, Two million eight hundred rupiah. See, that is two million and eight hundred rupiah. So, if you want to pay, you just uh, usually the available options for you to pay would be by using either a Visa or Mastercard or PayPal. So, if you choose to pay now, then uh, the web page will get to uh, direct the next page to the way how you're going to pay the test, for example, by using credit card, Visa, MasterCard, American Express, Discover, or Union Pay, or by using PayPal. So whatever, for example, if you choose a credit card, for example, and then you have to write down all of this thing, right? of the identification thing. If you don't have any credit card, you can um, ask for the help 
from somebody else out there, maybe your friend, maybe your family, somebody who knows you, whom you know, that probably have credit card, and then you can pay some amount of money to him or her, and then ask for him or her help to uh, transfer the payment from um, his or her bank account to the ETS um, English test, um, this one. So after that, uh, you just have to prepare. That is about uh, TOEFL. And then let's talk about uh, the score itself. Um, it's a little bit different if it is internet-based TOEFL and computer-based TOEFL and paper-based TOEFL, which is ITP is internet. Um, I, ITP is basically paper-based TOEFL. Uh, so the as you can see, the uh, these are the range of the score. So if you get 100 in internet-based TOEFL, it means uh, in computer-based TOEFL, you get uh, 250. And also it means in paper-based TOEFL, you get 600 or 603. Uh, this is the score. If it is like you get a very low score, um, for example, here, if you got um 537 or even lower than that and then there will be the conversion of your score if it is being seen from internet based TOEFL of computer based TOEFL okay so those are the things that you have to know which is about TOEFL TOEFL is said as a piece of English different language it's a test to see how good the level of English skill mastery that you already have Okay, now let's talk about the TOEFL itself. Now, I'm going to show you here is the example of the TOEFL by using Longman. As you can see here, I'm using Longman. Um, in the Longman itself, it is actually a paper-based TOEFL. Okay, a paper-based TOEFL. Sometimes maybe we get to talk about uh, internet-based TOEFL, but now let's talk about paper-based TOEFL. Um, in the paper-based TOEFL itself, when you're talking about a test, the test will be like listening, structure, reading, and writing. But not only that, um, you can also see this uh, skill practice. The skill practice is also the same as, like, for example, listening, structure, reading, and test of written English. Um, okay, since it is not yet uh, about the test, let's practice by using skill practice. So in the TOEFL, in order for you to be able to get a high score, uh, there will be four things that you have to uh, prepare, or at least three, which is listening, structure, and reading, okay? And if it is for the listening, um, I have already discussed about this in the other video. And then in this video, we're going to talk about the structure and also the reading comprehension. Okay. I'm going to show you some of the question from the structure and also reading comprehensions. The things that you have to do will be you have to answer. Okay. You have to answer uh, the questions still in the comment sections. In the comment sections below of this video, please try to fill in your answer then also forget to write down your name your student number and also uh, the date where uh, in which you are fill in the answer okay let's give it a try from the structure and written expression first okay remember again don't forget to write down the answer okay maybe start from structure and then let's talk about the written expression Maybe let's start from the structure. Oh, even I mean, it is about structure. Uh, there are several type of structure also. One clause, multiple clause, um, more sentence with multiple clauses, reduced clauses, um, inverted subject and verbs. And let's see if it is in the written expression. Wow, see, we have so many things to do in here. Okay. First thing first about the structure, sentence with one clause, um, skill one and skill five. Let's give it a try here. This is skill practice in this section of the task, which is uh, that will be 20 questions, um, consists some number of sentence with blanks. Each number, it's followed by our four, 
four answer choices. Um, read the sentence and the answer choice. Click on the answer choice that best completes the sentence. All right. Okay, see, that is number one. John Butterfield, John Butterfield, blah, 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 the Southern Overland Mail Company with two stage coaches in 1858. So the answer is going to be A, B, C, or D. A, he set up. B, setting up. C, set up. D, the setup. Okay. And give your answer again. Only the number and also the answer. For example, it's number one, maybe A or whatever it is. For example, or maybe B, maybe C, maybe D. It's going to be up to you for number one. And then for number two, the radio, the radiation piercing the atmosphere, blah, 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 of tanning or burning in humans. Okay, so which one that you have to choose here? Uh, B, A, it is the cause. B, causing it. C, it is the cause. Is the cause. D, the cause. Okay, that is our number two. Number three. The blah, 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 blah during an earthquake are caused by seismic, seismic waves. A, actually vibrate. B, actually vibration, actual vibration. C, vibrations happen. D, from the actual vibration. So which one you to choose? A, B, or C. All right. And then my one to the four, fourth question. During the Middle Age, blah, 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 large set of bells with as many as 70 bells with first become popular. B, about... A with can with Caril Carilans, B Catalans R C Catalans have Catalans. So which one do you think is the best answer for number four? Move on to number five. The tea plant, an evergreen shrub pruned to three to five feet high. Blah blah blah. Mild semi tropical climates in which to grow. A, the need for, B, it needs, C, to need, D, needs of, uh, need, needs, uh. Move on to number six. Blah, blah, blah. An author probably most famous for his tales of terror, also adapted in some science fiction. A, to Edgar Allan Poe, B, Edgar Allan Poe, C, Edgar Allan Poe was, was uh, for Edgar Allan Poe to be. So, which one should answer? A, B, C, or D? And then, move on to the next, number seven. Human living at high elevations, blah, 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 to the lower level of oxygen in the air were producing more red blood curb. Pasclus. A, adjust. B, to adjust. C, the adjustment. Uh, D, adjusting. Okay, number eight. By 1870, over 13 nations, blah, 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 their own postage stamp. A, the issue, B, were issuing, C, issuing, D, they assured. Nine, Statue of Liberty completed in Paris in 1864, blah, 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 in New York Harbor in 19, in 1886, the, and, Willing to unveil the un, unveiled it unveiled was unveiled. Which one is your answer? Number ten. 
Red Ribbon Week, a national campaign to keep young people from using drugs. A, annually in October. B, annually in October each year. C, takes place annually in October. D, taking place unusually at all. Okay. Which one is the answer? Ten, in triathlon, the blah, 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 bike and run. A, athlete swims, B, athlete swims, um, swims athletically, C, the swimming athlete. Okay. The... Which one is your answer? Okay. I think let's stop until number 10 first. Okay. Let's stop until number 10 first, and then we're going to continue to discuss about the other questions later on after this. But of course, remember, um, next time please uh, try to prepare the answer okay uh, so prepare the answer in the column sections of the video below this so that it will be very beneficial for you next time in the next meeting and in the next occasions we're going to talk like this again and then uh, we're going to discuss about this about the answer and also about the next questions and what are the functions they might be okay um good job everybody so i'll see you again next week and don't forget to write down all of the answer just like for example the number and then the letter of the answer number one a number two b for example number c d for example uh, yeah it's going to be be like that okay see you again Next week, goodbye. Oh, wait a minute.